Good evening, folks. This is Darth Rider 07 coming to you tonight with the second Constructicon review. This guy's in it for the long haul. His actual name is Long Haul. He is a dump truck and he can literally haul all the other components and stuff that you see on the Devastator, whether it's the upgraded kit stuff for long arms, arms on the back, right down to the Devastator blaster, the fist, and the chest piece. Uh, Simply amazing that they engineered it to do all this and that and Let's actually take this stuff off of there. So it doesn't look like the war path taint Of doom kind of figure one moment, please Now long haul looks like his old G1 self. He's got a tempo of the Decepticon logo there on the front like the other uh, pieces that I did the detailing uh, I'd like to see this pan silver in the future. I might even do it myself uh, other than that, like what he does, like how he, what he does when he does get into robot mode, uh, one thing I didn't really care for is how skinny this is and small to, to what the rest of his other parts is and components there. And, uh, I don't know if anybody's ever done a top-down view of him, but then there's a top-down view. And here is what you get in the bottom. So... Anyway, long haul. Uh, it's the same exact component, like for this combiner tour downstairs that he was back then. He's like a waste piece or whatever. And uh can't believe I've actually was able to procure this set in 2015. Right before that really cool Transformers Devastation game. And anybody that has not played that on the PS4 or the other platforms... Do you, and you're a Transformer fan, you're doing yourself a favor to pick that up immediately and play through it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to have to steal it back for my son and work on beating it to perfection. And, and I just hadn't had that time to do that. Um, with all that said and done, thanks again uh, for those who have subscribed to the channel. I'm up to 186 of these days. And uh, this has been a lot of fun putting this together, getting, uh, following my idols I've watched, you know, watched over the years do their thing, and the pandemic just turned me into, uh, I shot 331 videos, 330, yeah, this, I just didn't upload scrappers yet, it'll be 332, this will be actually 333, so yeah, I've shot quite a few videos since I started last February shooting videos. And my first video was 640, and I was nervous and out of my mind, but they've gotten my nervous energy working for me these days and showing off the finer bits and details of these figures. So let me get Long Haul here into his robot mood, and then later in the week, once we've got the other four pieces uh, reviewed in their standard form, we'll get them combined up into Devastator and show that off as well. Thank you again for watching. One moment, please. And here he is Long Haul in his robot mode. For simplicity, I'll show you how it connects. So he's got an actual working elbow there with his uh, new arm, lower underarm. And uh, it's really, really neat and simple <laughs> little way that they've done that to, to better, you know, get this guy geared up. You got some hollow spaces back here in the back. And that's just unfortunate, but it's part of the transformation and what have you. He has some knee articulation swivels. He's got the feet swivels. It's amazing for such a big boy how much he really has in there to, to show you. He's not playing around either as a Constructicon. I would not want to cross this uh, guy ever. He's just so big and burly and <laughs> don't care if you're Optimus or Ultra Magnus. I mean, this guy still could probably pack a wall up on you inside of the universe. Uh, I love the, the way the, the line, panel lining helps make that pop out there. Every detail shows up. I may still go back over here and do the silver touch-ups to, to, to really make it stand out. And uh, I really like the way the head looks on this guy. And that's about going to do it for long haul. Uh, if you're a fan of Constructicons, you can't really go wrong getting the six pack set there. I don't think you really can get them individually. They just sell them all six together in one shot. And they re released it. 
along with uh they re-released a scorpionock from last fall they and then uh there's a, a couple of things they re-released so if you didn't get your hands on them do yourself a favor and pick them up because they're really just a lot of fun and there's a SDC, SDD, sdcc version san diego comic-con version uh that has uh different heads so uh it's worth a look into to see which package you want to go for and then go for it uh aftermarket may be substantially higher than it's 159 or 149 it was 149 and i think bbts had it for 159.99 so just watch out for the scalpers and what have you if you do go to pick it up um with all that said and done this is another voyager class uh this is long haul and uh then i think tomorrow we'll, we'll work on uh, the right arm and get old uh scavenger in here for a quick video review thanks again to all those who watch until all are one y'all have a safe and happy week out there and uh the other parts are coming have a good night